Hey everybody, this is T Mac, Waffle the Outdoors. I've been doing a lot of. <clears throat> sorry about the. I got something going on here, allergies probably. But uh, I've been doing a lot of studies this year on wild edibles. What you can eat, what you can't eat. Because when you learn what you can eat, you don't want to run into what you can't eat because they look a lot alike sometimes. And that got me thinking about the parable of the wheat and the tares. I like the old King James version because it actually calls them tares, and some of them newer versions it calls them just weeds. But the tear, tares are a look-alike to wheat, and they have a seed that you can't. I mean, they're not supposed to eat. It's a poisonous seed, and it's black. But you can't tell that until you get on the threshing floor when you start separating them and threshing them, and you'll see that's when they, in the parable, you know, you get rid of those, burn them in a pile like they used to back in the old days. And you keep the good stuff. But the more I study, you know, the outdoors, the more I realize that God's truth is truer today than it ever was. Just like when you're, I mean, when you're gathering wild garlic or wild onions like I did this year, you got to watch out for the imitation. It's a, another plant that looks just like the wild onion or garlic has a bulb on it but you can't eat it it'll poison you uh, purslane same thing it's got to look alike that you break it open and this nasty white thick stuff comes out you can't eat that it's poison even dandelions have a look alike but and mushrooms oh the mushrooms we've been over that this year there's always a look-alike out there wanting to kill you. The devil works like that. He's a deceiver. He wants to imitate Christ in all ways. That's why they call him the Antichrist. In the Greek, that's instead of Christ. He's always looking out to deceive somebody. And when you're out there and you're doing what I'm doing, you just can't help but think about that. You just can't help but think about how the truth of God's word still to this day puts you on the right track. You know, in a youth class, I was teaching youth class this week, and our study was stay focused. Stay focused. You know, it's hard to keep them youth focused sometimes. There's always something pulling at them, sports, school. And we was naming some stuff off, and they was telling me stuff that pulls away from their time with Christ. And so we was talking about that, and, you know, you just got, when it comes to God's Word, you got to stay focused. When it comes to loving Jesus and being in His Word, you got to stay focused. A little bit of something else, you know, like that other parable of the, the yeast, a little bit of yeast can ruin the whole lump. Man, I tell you what, you got to stay focused. And that's what we talked about in youth class, and it just kind of brought up more about what I've been working on this year as far as studying wild edibles. You know, false wild edibles and the real wild edibles. The false ones will make you sick. And I thought I'd just share that with you all. A lot of people ask me, T-Mac, how, how do I get my YouTube channel going? Yours is doing good. How do I, how do I get what you have? And... I guess the main thing I can tell them is put God first, stay focused, learn that the deceiver is always out there, there's always false religions and false doctrines out there trying to snare you. Stay focused, stay talking to your father, and you'll do just fine. You put God first and he'll bless whatever ministry you have. Well, I'm going to get back to doing what I'm doing. Thanking God and getting outdoors, managing this land. That's what God put us here to do. To work, you know, God put Adam in the garden to work. And the word till in the Hebrew mean, you know, pretty much means to work. So we got work to do.
do the work. You'll be blessed for it. I love y'all. God bless. Good luck. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.